Hello YouTubers and here we are starting off season 3 of reviews with part 3 of the Got to Figure collection and obviously today it is the Cyber Controller so let's t keep the torch on so here we are and I'm actually holding the camera in one hand so let's put the strap on so I can steady it so just looking at it, it's, this is probably one of the best ones to get because obviously it's made of metal, so it's obviously going to look metal. It does look like the actual cyber controller. I know it's not the best kind of light in here, maybe against a white background, but you can see the detail of the brain inside so with all the uh, wires and that it is pretty small you can also see the faceplate and uh, it's just a great big long line against the sea and all the um, wires have been detached he's also on a stand like before it's made of metal it says cyber controller from the age of seal and he is stomping towards you so that's all pretty good um this review has been delayed i've actually also got the weeping angel figure so just doing a quick comparison So you can see here, the cyber controller does fit in well with the others, and also uh, I've noticed a little cool thing you can do if you've got a torch, nine LED torch, you can have that from Pound Shop Asga, and that you can sort of do the thing where uh, the torch is over the goxer and he's talking like that, so you can take some cool pictures like so. There's not particularly much to say about this Cyberman because all the detail is pretty much the same as the figure. And now uh, the headpiece, if we just lay him flat. He said there's no uh, light in them sockets, they're just blank. Which is a, sh a shame, but uh, it just shows that. They're doing it more towards the prop rather than the actual thing. You can also see the uh, lines just there underneath the brain. They have actually, that um, is just the plastic, though it isn't actually sil silver. And they haven't even painted it, which is a shame. Because on the actual figure of this Cyberman, they did actually get a lot. That is working at a, a five-inch scale, and obviously, it's six ninety-nine to make figures like this out of steel. These are better. I mean, for six ninety-nine, it's just baffling me why the three-point-five-inch figures can't look. You know, really good. <clears throat> See, they won't be as accurate as these. Obviously, when you're working with a bit of a budget, but still. And also, something that is uh, good, there's no writing on the Cyberman's backside. I had no legal information or anything like that, because obviously, all the legal for the cockle is on the bottom and just to show you here is the magazine it comes with see part three and that's pretty much it for my review my next review will be of the weeping angel